Official start of this moving vlog. This is for real the moving vlog now because I know I've showed moving vlogs like packing up, closing everything, but the truck is probably like 30 minutes away. I can't believe it. it I can't believe it. Today has come so quick. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this apartment has just been in chaos the past couple days, packing it all up. Here's the state of the union. <laughs> Some things, just the curtains are just gonna get thrown in. We have a couple more wardrobe boxes coming, so don't worry about that, that looks. It looks like we're not packed up, but we really are. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's all gonna be okay. We're gonna throw those in our car, I think. This looks like a lot happening. All you missed this morning, pretty much, was we went and we grabbed donuts because I figured we had to do that on our way out. Why can't I open these? Yeah, if you know, you know, Mary and Donut Kitchen in Allentown, we are gonna miss them so much. Oh, I already ate half one. Guys, the best cronuts in the whole world. Also, grab, we just grabbed a ton because I wanted some for our movers too, in case they wanted some this morning. Even look at everything else. We packed up all our cups and we had some coffee leftovers. We put coffee in red solo cups. Can't make it up. When it's moving day, all the rules are out the window. It's just mayhem. Here's bedroom currently this is pretty good we just had to start throwing like bedding in garbage bags and such <laughs> i keep being like oh we'll just put it in max's car literally so much stuff to still put in there but that's okay it's all gonna be okay should we show them the garage let's show you the garage <laughs> throwing a bunch of stuff in this camper i can't okay yeah here we oh don't even look at this box we really are not good at packing we're like they are gonna be like you guys did the worst job packing ever we just like Threw stuff in. <laughs> is this all gonna fit in the truck? I think so. I'll bring you guys along, okay? Yeah, there's still a lot, but they're gonna take the artwork down and like wrap it, I believe. Um, also, same with like the TV. I feel like they do like a really good job with that type of stuff. Like my bike, they have a special spot for that, so it's all gonna be good. Wow, even filming in here right now, still have to tape up that box. It's just like, Couple more things I gotta do and then I'll feel good. The movers are probably like 30 minutes away. But first, I need to have a little self-care moment. I don't know if you guys can tell. I feel like in here the lighting's always really hard to tell. In natural lighting, you would definitely be able to tell. I am so bronzed right now. I actually self-tanned last night. I figured I'm gonna oh you could probably tell in the beginning when I was in the second bedroom. The lighting's like really bright in there. But um I was like, I'm gonna feel like the best version of myself during this move if I self-tan if I take care of myself, because that kind of like goes out the window when you are really stressed. So, I don't know about you guys, but after I self tan, and actually just all the time, I have the most dry skin, and um, if you self tan or have a real tan, you would know, to get the tan, you wanna stay moisturized. So, I've been using this Oak Essentials Do Body Oil right here. And Oak Essentials is actually by Jenny Kane. You guys know I love Jenny Kane so much. I feel like they share a lot of the same qualities, just like simple, timeless, really high quality. That's the same that you'll get with the Oak Essentials skincare brand. I'm so happy I've been trying them out. I've heard about them a bunch. I saw my friend Caitlin post them on TikTok. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get into that. So pretty much with this body oil, it smells so good. It's so like luxe high quality it feels like literally being at a spa um my legs are always peeling sorry that's like gross but like 24 7 year round they're always peeling like all my skin my face is always peeling i just have really dry skin anyway so i've been loving this body oil when i'm out of the shower since i just showered i was rinsing off my tan and also this is honestly one of the reasons it's my favorite which like has nothing to do with the product is that it's so easy to put on like it's more easier than moisturizer you literally it's just so quick and i'm so lazy about putting on lotion probably that's why my skin's okay so i just love body oil that's been like my recent fave because it's so quick and easy to put on especially when i'm trying to keep the tan and save moisturizer over here so when i'm glowing in these moving photos and my moving content you'll know why and my skin is just gonna soak this up so quick i'm so like i think i'm dehydrated too but yeah I really need this right now to keep my tan, but 
pretty much the body oil just smells so good just really high quality like very luxurious feeling feels like i'm at a spa but like very simple just like high quality ingredients i've said high quality a million times but you get the gist just smells really nice really like hydrating you're obviously like so glowy everything we want to be and then i'm also been loving the moisture rich balm probably should have done this first this. I also love the packaging. It feels really nice. This is so hydrating, which I need because again, I have really dry skin. So I just take a bunch and literally when I get out of the shower, I don't know if you guys have this if you have dry skin. When I get out of the shower, I don't have anything on my face right now. My skin feels like tight because it's so dry. Like I need, like it feels so like, like I need moisturizer. So I just put this all over and it's really nice under makeup as well. Also very glowy, just like the body oil. I need all the hydration I can get. So I know I have a code for you guys. If you go to okessentials.com, that's O-A-K-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S.com, use my code Gretchen, you will get 15% off. Code Gretchen for 15% off. Now we're gonna finish loading up Max's car a bit more with all this stuff that's playing around that we have to. And then the boobers will be here. I can't believe it. These, I'm gonna throw in my toiletry bag right here. I've been loving this duo. Oh, don't these like look so beachy too? These will be so perfect to like have on my vanity on the cape. So here we go. So maybe these about to be hectic. I'm sure there'll be moments where you have like little explanation. Just bear with me, all right? <laughs> time I'm ever gonna be filming in this bathroom. I filmed so much in here. I can't get emo again. I did it at the end of my last vlog. I was so sad thinking about this place now. It was like Brody's first home and stuff, but our next adventure awaits. The best is yet to come. <laughs> even show you guys our big freaking moving truck i believe this huge crate is for that massive seven foot gold mirror we have like i'm just astonished at how fast they are going you guys they are flying Like the professionals or something. <laughs> I'm so humbled by, I was telling the main guy, I was like, I am like embarrassed actually at how long it took us to really poorly pack for the past two days. And I'm like, when you guys do the search, cause we pack most of our things and they're just moving them, but they also do like a service where they will pack up your home for you and then move it. And I was like, if you guys had packed our place, you probably would have been done in an hour. And he was like, eh, the size of this place, we probably would have been done in two hours. Packing everything. Yeah. It took us two days to like really crappily pack and have like mental breakdowns. Yeah. But it was fun. <laughs> so embarrassed. But like obviously they're professionals. They had like go so quick. And have like all the supplies. Like, yeah. Like they have like all the blankets. And just and so experienced. Stuff. Like I was like, Max, do you think they like learn like they probably learn from each other maybe they like shadow in the beginning but probably just their experience they just get so fast i'm shocked <laughs> all right odds are we get our security deposit back <laughs> we have so many holes in the wall <laughs> right it's all empty <laughs> wow all right. I can't believe it. This is so weird. It feels a lot smaller, empty, we are saying. And that's a wrap. It's so weird to see it all empty. We still have some things we're gonna grab, taking out the last bag of trash. It's so scary how much dust is like under your bed. I can't even show you, it's so gross. 
yeah like this is crazy to see our closets empty okay bye bye start our six hour trek you're saying we're shocked. Well, I'm, I guess I'm not even that shocked anymore because they were moving there quick. I knew it was gonna be quick. But the movers were just under two and a half hours for everything in here. Like so much stuff. Crazy. It was a roadway movie. I'm sure you guys could see. Said that all over and just the best experience so far. So quick and easy. They're like so professional and really nice. And yeah, now I'm just being distracted by all the holes in the wall. Keep you guys updated on our security deposit situation, but for now, goodbye, Allentown. <laughs> you open. You. <laughs> Who did this? Who did these freaking balloons? Did you know about this, I sir? Are you serious? I swear. Really? Oh, it was obviously your fam. That is so freaking oh sweet. God. Chase. Is she on the counter too? Yeah, I'm like 90% sure it's her. It could be like a realtor or lender or something. This is so sweet. Oh. Look at oh, look at this bottle. That's Summer so pretty. The oh, angel. honey. Look at these glasses. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. But wait, there's more. <laughs> wait a minute, hang on. This has to be like your buddies. That's what you drink with them. Yeah, but I changed. What you think? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, this is just too much. I finally just grabbed the camera. Oh, by the way, that didn't <laughs> they're probably like, did that just turn on by itself? No, I just switched it on a second ago and it takes a second to turn on. I'm freaking out. I, at first, too, I thought this was an and, and Max was like, no, it's a B. Yeah. Brody. Oh, I can't wait to get him over here. And obviously, you guys saw. They are so freaking thoughtful. Right. That was the best decision I did, leaving my keys with them. <laughs> they could make our place all ready for us. But, um, so sweet. Also, I didn't even show them. They were like, wait, check the freezer. Look it. My favorite. <laughs> I gotta run upstairs and show you guys. This doesn't like feel real. This is so weird. I'm like, whose house are we in right now? It's not ours, you know. Okay, also, we came home to this. I had to show you guys. Like home? What do you mean home? I also wanted to film an empty house tour right now. But as you can see, it got so gloomy and we got here a little bit too late so it'll be a lot brighter in the morning so i think i'm just gonna do it in the morning but um our new mattress was supposed to get delivered here today and it's actually coming tomorrow now so last minute yesterday thank goodness i could overnight an air mattress from amazon because i'm like wait <laughs> uh <laughs> where else are we gonna sleep because our furniture comes tomorrow morning and i guess it must have gotten delivered during the day whenever max's mom and sister chase were like setting up stuff for us here because we came up here and we're like Wait a second, and they fully like set it all up for us and everything, which is so sweet. By the way, this is like so random, but I can link this for you guys, this air mattress. I mean, I'll let you know in the morning how it goes, but pretty much we knew we wanted to get a nice big air mattress for here anyway, if we have like a lot of guests here. We have a lot of room for guests as it is, like two other guest rooms, we'll have a pull out couch, take couch downstairs, but I knew I wanted one anyway. So I was like, let's just like, I read some reviews, like let's get a good one. And there were so many good reviews on this one, came literally overnight and it's like a nice thick one. This literally looks like the size of like, how tall a normal bed would be anyway. Like I feel like it'll be really comfortable. After today, after such a big day, I'm like, we'll sleep so well no matter what. But yes, um, that was just really sweet of them. And I can't believe this all happened. I have so many ideas of like things I want to change. This obviously, or maybe not obvious, but like I feel like could this space in the walk-in closet could be maximized a lot better, utilized a lot better. And I want to like ideally at one moment have someone come in do shelves stuff like that so you have like shelves drawers and also spots like hang things maybe i'll make some changes in the bathroom to make it a little more me but obviously everything is like so nice as is like it's very like new home and like it's gonna hit me at one point i'm like about to have an emo moment because like i don't even believe it 
how are we here right now? How is this happening? I need to go help Max. He's like already like unpacking stuff that we brought in the car. But like, what? I'm just feeling very grateful. It's probably how tonight's gonna go. So actually this will probably go up after the empty house tour. I was gonna say watch like the empty house tour to see everything um, after this vlog. But it'll probably go up before this one. So you would have like seen it already. And I... If I don't say it at any other point in this video, I might as well say it now. I just need to take a moment to express my sincerest of gratitude for all of you watching and supporting me. And I literally could not have done this without you. And I, like, would have never imagined being able to buy my first home, like, as beautiful as this and perfect. It's, like, such a dream. And, like, on Cape Cod. And I keep saying that to you. I'm like, if you would have told me even a year ago, you're going to buy a house on Cape Cod. That's going to be your first one. I'd be like, what? <laughs> How? Why? You know? And it's just such a dream. Actually, on the way here, I got a comment on a video talking about this being like, is your family upset that you bought a house near Max's family? And I was joking, talking to Max. I was like, oh yeah, they're probably so mad. I bought a house right near the beach. It's obviously terrible here. They hit, like, no, they are so excited. And my mom, by the way, also the only person that is left in Albany is my mom. Actually, like none of our family, the rest of our families there. And she also wants to leave. So <laughs> that wouldn't make sense for me to be there. And my mom's side of family, my dad's side of family is kind of like spread out. And my mom's like, oh, I want to be right here. So they're like very, very happy and excited. And it's going to feel even better when like all our friends and family come. I can't wait. Max's family will probably like stop by tonight. But yeah, I don't want to like cry too much if I'm in my feels, but like... It's, now I'm gonna cry thinking about this. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I never would have imagined like the places it took me. And I literally just like in my purple bedroom, my like freshman year of high school, like started um, filming like videos for fun because I just enjoyed it so much and sharing my life. And I think so much of like loving filming and editing came from my dad because he filmed everything growing up when we were like babies all the way through high school everything he filmed like every big moment he was the king of home videos i actually have them all i packed them all up but they're so special to me and he filmed everything and so i think that just made me like lucy and i love being on camera since we were little we would just dance around obviously it was just like for our memories but i think that made me like love filming and it felt so natural to like document my life because he was always documenting stuff we were doing and like i really i get I keep getting really sad because I really freaking wish he was here right now. Like, I just want him to come over. I want him to be able to like, see everything that I've done. But I've seen so many signs, like, certain really old songs keep, like, popping up on the radio. And I'm like, I know this is him. Like, this is such an old song that never comes up on the radio, you know? And I'm just feeling, like, overwhelmingly grateful, obviously. And just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of you that have supported me for so long. Like, I've done YouTube for literally 11 years. I can't believe it. And I never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams would have imagined being able to, like, buy a home on Cape Cod, one of the most beautiful, peaceful, like, amazing places. Brody loves it here so much. Max loves it here so much. I love it here so much. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love all of you watching, like, so, so, so much. I wish I could have you all over and we could have a summer party and hang out. That would be, like, my most favorite thing ever. It's later. We've been settling as much as we can. Playing our favorite song right now, Tennessee Boy by Kit Moore. I'm singing the wrong verse. <laughs> anyway, um, Max also just put on our little projector thing, which we have not done in forever. He's filling up a little wine fridge right there right now, I think, with like beer and high names and stuff, which he got me a little watermelon one. We're celebrating up on the third floor right now, if you can't tell. It's like windows all around. And look what we got to celebrate. Literally, we had to call like four restaurants because obviously it's so late now. Find any that are open to service a lobster roll. I'm like, Max, I really think it would be symbolic if we got lobster rolls. So, First night, lobster rolls. It just makes sense, right? <laughs> also, this might be getting slip covered. <laughs> but for now, it's great. Very beachy. Yeah, we're just gonna have a little date. Brought some ketchup up. We got our cozy blanket. Also got, guys, this was the best present ever for Max's sister, Chase. They're, I'm gonna say it wrong, Gray Malin, Gray Malin cards. And look at they're so beachy and we're gonna play cards 
and get off our phones and just have some good quality time. First night in my new house. We were just driving around like on Main Street and we're like, who let this happen? <laughs> we feel like we're kids. Yeah. We are still kids. Yeah. Max is like, I feel like I'm in high school and you're my girlfriend. <laughs> and we're like going on a date. I don't know. I can't believe it. But here we are. <laughs> I'm so excited to wake up here. Mm -hmm. I literally can't wait. Alright, I'm doing an end of the front Okay, door. me too. Ah! <laughs> the movers just pulled up. <laughs> I'm so excited. Good morning. I was able to film an empty house tour this morning. Um, which probably went up before this, which is so exciting. Okay, this is about to be madness. Mac got me the best coffee this morning. Wherever he got it from, it's gonna be my spot. It's like the best vanilla oat milk latte ever. Mmm. Me and my friend Louisa are obsessed. I can't wait to bring her here. Okay, here we go. There it goes. Wow, stop, stop, stop. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel so bad. Whenever I tell them things are on the third floor, I'm like, I don't even know there's going to be room. We got the mirror in, got this new rug going. That's like a lot bigger than I thought for the space. It'll be great. Okay, the move is done. The movers just left. I can't believe it. And it was even quicker than packing up the truck, which she said that's always the case. It's always quicker unpacking than packing it up, which like kind of makes sense. Like I wonder where that is, you know? Anyway, it's all in. Now, we just gotta unpack the boxes and like organize and everything. But like, wow, it's so weird to see our stuff in here. I keep being like, what? Also this rug, I've been so excited to unroll. We actually had never even put it in our apartment it was rolled up the whole time and I was like saving it for whenever we moved and I'm so excited about it our apartment like I need to just get over it and we'll swap out pieces and it'll be fine but it was obviously the floors were like a light gray they're very gray and this obviously like such warm floors and everything I had was like gray for the last apartment but yeah it'll be good for the time being we'll figure it all out and the only other thing is we have so much artwork and there's so many windows here there's like no walls for artwork so yeah well, we're gonna yeah. figure it all out it's gonna be great we're gonna keep unpacking yeah. and then he's on the phone like bye <laughs> yeah we should tell them the one yeah ca not casualty the one fail issue two fails it's is that we had two yeah the rug oh <laughs> gosh i forgot about that too a rug that i thought would be the third floor is yeah. the issue the rug that i thought would be so perfect for the third floor doesn't fit, literally touches the walls, is like rolled up, I'm like, too big, perfect. Then, the white pull-out couch that was gonna be so perfect at the top of the stairs, it would fit, there's no way to get up there. Because the staircase is narrow and getting it around those two turns, they were like, they were like, we're gonna be really honest, we can try, but they're like, it probably will not fit and we'll just get stuck. And they're like, you will have a big blue scrape on your wall, cause it's just, it, it's like, too big. And it's gonna rub up against the wall. And we just got them painted, so we were like, you know what? <laughs> Let's not. And they were like, you also can like hire services that will like take apart your couch and put it back together. Like, what, did you say couch doctor? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That will do that. So maybe we'll do that. We just gotta like think about it. And then these other furniture pieces we knew absolutely would not be fitting in our house. Yeah, I do hear the fairy. <laughs> so, um,. Like our massive dresser, we're like, we're gonna have to sell certain things we just knew going into it because the house is bigger than our apartment, but the rooms are smaller, you know? Like this is like twice as big as our apartment, just since there's more bedrooms are smaller and whatever, so yeah. Okay. It goes up and not <laughs> out. Ow. I know. Now goes the hard part. Yeah. Unpacking all the boxes that we have. If anyone wants to come over and help, come on over. <laughs> but it would be a lot quicker than packing them up, I'm uh, sure. So yeah. <laughs>
our mattress just got here. Look where Brody was the whole time. Whoa. Just laying in the lawn. <laughs> you throwing the mat in the box Hi, down? Thanks, Felix. <laughs> what do you think? Right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's actually four days later. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you guys would have seen is us setting up our new mattress. We just got that mattress in from Helix. Came in the nick of time because we didn't have one. <laughs> well, we did have one. Um, actually, a Queen Helix mattress that we have in one of the guest rooms. I'll show you guys. But we wanted to upgrade to a king for this house because we have the room and Max agreed with me that we initially didn't need one and he was like a king seems so big like unnecessary which it was especially when our dog was a puppy and then he got huge and when it's a three of us and a queen it's really tight so <laughs> getting the king was really nice so that's all set up but I'm actually happy that it's been four days because I wanted to give you guys like an overview of everything that's been in we've been doing lots of organizing lots of unpacking and this way I can end the vlog with like an updated situation. This is by no means how it's going to end up like fully furnished house tour. No. This is very like preliminary. That's the word. It's preliminarily how it is. And it's just most of our, obviously all of our furniture actually from Allentown. So this seems like our Pennsylvania apartment kind of on the inside. And I will be swapping a lot of things out pieces and like doing some changes like in the kitchen you guys don't really want like countertops and that's going to make it a lot feel like a lot more here beachy kind of thing because it's all um, art my stuff felt very sleek and modern and i just want it to be a little more beachy and coastal in here which i think with some like minor swaps will be accomplished so i'm just going to show you guys a quick overview of everything so far as it is hi Hello. hi you two oh <laughs> sleepy guy <laughs> And this will be good too to see how it like started with all our stuff in here and then how it ends up if I, you know, switch out the coffee table, switch out the rug, switch out the stools, whatever it may be. So, yes, put this mirror here. Uh, not very coastal, but it's kind of the only place it fits. And we like it here. It's actually been really fun. We had our first couple guests here already. And, uh, well, the first is my sister and her boyfriend. And while well, we were gone in Newport over the weekend, and they hung with Brody. And so it was really nice having them here. And then Max's buddy and his girlfriend. Perfect timing, because our one room that's the most set up, Lucy and her boyfriend checked out, and they checked in. Yeah. <laughs> we already have great reviews from our guests. No, but, um, oh, what I was gonna say is we took like a huge group photo in this mirror before we left, and we're like, that's so much fun. We have to do that like all the time this summer. So we like that there. The couch will be good, this will stay. This is like very neutral, cozy, and I think again with like little minor swaps, it'll be good. Everything's just so gray, because our apartment was gray. This place is a lot more like warm tone, so we'll figure it out. Everything is like disarray, in disarray, so just is what it is, okay? Desk here in the front, because it's really not gonna go anywhere else. Shoes are everywhere, kind of a mess, but is what it is. Then we have the ottomans here with like blankets. Those might go upstairs, I don't know. Some dying hydrangeas. <laughs> um, yeah, just like momentarily how we put all of this together, because we obviously just had so much stuff, but we'll see how we keep it. Our last dining table, which needs to go. It has seen better days. There's so many chips out of it um, since it was relatively inexpensive. When Brody was a puppy, he like would chew at the legs and stuff. Yeah, it's really seen better days. These I'm torn on if they'll stay or go because I really like them. They're kind of bulky for this space. It feels a little bit tight and I feel like if we had more like smaller minimal chairs, it might like feel a little bit better. I want like a lighter, like I just want things to be like lighter and go better with like the warm tones. Okay. Kitchen stools, again, might change. I want more like wicker woven type things. I feel like it'll be beachy. Imagine with like some light countertops. That's like probably the biggest thing I want to do, like light fixtures, stuff like that. Can you guys see one of those big pendants right here? Like the wicker woven type ones, it'll look really good. Yeah, I don't know about this. That might stay or go. <laughs> I'm so freaking picky. Um, this I like, this is cute over here. I like how all this turned out. Cute, literally there was nowhere for our artwork to go. Majority but it's in the basement. We also need to get a trash bin. We just have like trash bag. Yeah, there's literally nowhere else for that to go. It feels almost too big for that wall, but whatever. I guess I'm giving you like another tour, but 
yeah, I need to just be quick. This is just how things are right now. This is gonna be the fun powder bath, eventually with like wallpaper and stuff. This is just how it is for now. Uh, yeah, we also had these pictures everywhere in our apartment, in our bedroom, kitchen stuff. So I just kind of like sprinkled them throughout. We hung these forever yesterday and it took us so long and they're not perfect. I would say they're a little crooked, not spaced perfectly. We tried our best, okay? <laughs> Heading upstairs. This will be quick because there's not like too, too much. This is the guest bath. Again, we've had raving reviews from our guests. Um, <laughs> actually not really because we don't have a shower curtain yet. I'm like, everything's set up for you guys. Here you go. And I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> you don't have a shower curtain. Sorry, you probably can't shower in here. Come shower in ours. Okay, this, let's start with this because it's the most set up room because this is pretty much our room as it was in Pennsylvania because this was our bed frame, mattress, bedding, all the things because I figured that would be good as a guest room here since we switched to the king, like I said. It was like the rug we had, everything. So this room's pretty much done. This is the smallest guest room. Can't really do much else. I think I'll get little nightstands, lamps, probably move that little decoration over here and she's good. Oh, and then closets. This is what took us so long, like unpacking closets. There's a lot happening. Like imagine more of this throughout. It'll feel beachy. This is my dress closet that goes way back. This literally looks like a store. The amount of dresses I have, I cannot even. So luckily we have several closets can use for that. This is the most work in progress room. This rug we actually had rolled up in our house apartment and it's from Rugs USA and I love it. We put it in here yesterday. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so good. Once we get this room going, probably another bed, nightstands. I don't know. I gotta think about it more. More artwork <laughs> that needs somewhere to go, which I really like. That's kind of beachy and like fun. So yes, we also <laughs> build up this closet with our thing. <laughs> I really like this here. We'll probably mount it on the wall like we had at our last place. I think this is good also being like, okay, what do we think of the outfit before we leave? You know, like right outside our bedroom, I can like have the full length mirror, fit check. All right, <laughs> I don't even know what we're walking to in here. Whole situation, yeah, we really need to figure out this room. I'm not tied to this rug. There's actually a big hole in it that Brody chewed through when he was puppy on the other side. It's seen better days. This is just currently the bed. It's not made well at all. Clearly I was like taking measurements earlier for, yeah, potential furniture. So we gotta figure all this out. This might go up here, but we gotta see if we can fit like a dresser here, here. It's gonna be tight since this is a king. Once we get the bed frame, they might be like too close, you know? So that's kind of the situation. Luckily, these look so good out here on our porch. We had this like outdoor furniture before. This is like a little set from Target and it looks so cute. So that's all set them. Back here, oh, also, do not look at our closet. <laughs> Need some major work. We want a closet company to come in to put some shelves in the drawers and such. It'll just make a lot better use of the space because this is a nightmare. Okay, bathroom. This is a suitcase of products I need to like organize in here. I have not really put stuff away and organized because we've just been doing so many other things, but cute, we love her. She's really grown on me and I immediately was like, I completely want to change the bathroom. I don't like it. And now I'm like, it's so nice and like the natural light. So nice in here and like new and fresh and done really well. The shower is bigger than I thought. So yeah, it doesn't really bother me that much for now. And I'm just taking things slow. I'm happy you guys are talking some sense to me. You guys are like, when you own a house, it's different than renting. Like go slow like you have time. Don't make any like rash decisions. Like live with it and see what you think. You might change your mind. Like I hate this thing, but maybe... It'll grow on me. I know it'll be nice for storage, so we shall see. I feel like it just breaks up the space, but yeah. I'm sure I will make the changes I wanna make in due time. Okay, funny story. These shades in our bedroom that we actually didn't know about uh, until the first night here. I don't, can someone tell me what we call these? You go like that. They're really nice, and anyway, we pretty much like broke that one the first night, or we thought we did, and Max fixed it. And we were like, how do we freaking break these already? But yeah, we've just been figuring out little things that we didn't even know were here, and we're like, oh, these are really convenient and are nice. We don't even have to like hang the curtains we had before, because these are like cute and really convenient, so that's cool. All right, this is the least done, <laughs> the worst for last. Uh, I might have told you guys, but the fail was that our white couch couldn't make it up here, so. TBD on that, we literally may pay for a crane to get through here, I'm not kidding. Or 
pay like a couch company to take it apart somehow and bring it up here for now. We have these like storage drawers in here. This is really like a work in progress in this place. Bathroom, this was at Andrew Lake Council. I had my last place. Just had no idea where I was gonna go, so we just put it up here. I don't know if that's staying. There were chairs here before, so yeah. <laughs> Stocked with high noon and Bud Light already. Just some, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I might make this white. Don't really know what's going on up here. I'm not worried about it. This I'm gonna worry about last. The rug I tried to put up here didn't fit, so that was another fail. That's the update. <laughs> I'm going to end off this vlog here. Oh, last thing. I don't think this is gonna stay here either. This might go on the wall over there, but there was this big open space where they had like a big wooden sailboat before. We're like, what do we put in here? So I just put that there for now. I don't know. <laughs> all this is exhausting to me trying to like figure it all out. But yeah, I just want to give you guys an update. We're a lot more moved in and organized. It's very like functional with all our old stuff, but it'll just take some time to have it be exactly how I want. A little more beachy with all the pieces I'm going to put together, you know? Sorry if I'm like low energy <laughs> in this vlog. There's just been like a lot happening, but I am so excited for what's to come, the vlogs in the future, furniture shopping, all the things. So, bring you guys along. Thanks for watching, this vlog's probably a million years long. Love ya, and I'll see you in my next video.